Lab CNC, and I'm here with Coulter today, and we're gonna do a video that's covering the calibration of the Z-axis and the proper placement of your torch in the torch mount, which is right here. The first thing we're gonna do before we do a Z-calibration, and remember, you should never need to do a Z-calibration unless there's a major issue like you replaced a brain board or you upgraded your software and the software asked you to do it. Otherwise, it's not something that ever goes out. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that the torch is at proper placement. And to do that, we're gonna move it so that it's over in between two of the slats. So go ahead and move it. And we wanna lower it. And when the, the Z axis is all the way down, the tip of the torch should go half an inch below the top of these slats. So you can see that we're way too high. That means we're not gonna be able to do a proper calibration on the Z axis. So we're gonna loosen the clamp and we're gonna lower the torch and place it so the bottom of the tip is half an inch below the top of those slats. You probably should move it forward a little bit. There you go. That looks good. Doesn't have to be super precise, but it does need to go lower than the surface about half an inch. All right, we're retightening the clamp. So now we have our torch placed properly in the mount and we have all the distance we need for the Z axis. So we're gonna calibrate. And to do that, we're gonna need a plate that's a stiff plate and doesn't rock. We have one here. Let's make sure it's not something that's gonna wobble or flex. Perfect. All right, we're gonna to go to the Z calibration. Table settings, Z calibrate. That warning is there because like I said, it's not something that you should ever be messing with unless you have to for a very specific reason, either we're telling you to or the app is telling you to. The first thing it wants you to do is move the torch over a piece of plate, which we already have. So we'll go to the next step. It's asking us to double check because you absolutely do not want this piece to flex or wobble, it will affect your calibration. All right, this button right here is gonna tell the torch to go down and find the surface. So press that blue button. And you can see it's pushing in. Now it's important to know when you're looking at it on this step, that is not just finding the surface, it's actually trying to push through the surface. So we have got to relieve the pressure on the torch, which is the very next step. Hit next. The torch should currently be pressing into the surface of the metal. For calibration to work correctly, the torch must be raised to remove any pressure on the tip. It's best to raise it till it's no longer touching and then slowly lower it till it just barely touches. You should be able to slide a thin sheet of paper underneath it. Now what we're gonna do is switch to times 500 for the movement and press up and make sure that it comes completely off of the metal. That's perfect. Now we're gonna switch, let's do 100 I guess. And we're gonna go down until it starts getting close. All right, that's close enough. Now we're gonna switch to times 10. Yep, and we're gonna keep going down until it just barely touches the metal. Keep going, keep going, perfect. Now press up one, and let's take a piece of paper and see if it slides underneath. Perfect. That's what we want. Now we're gonna go to the final step. This is where we set it to one inch. We're gonna switch from times 10 to 100. And we use a one inch square tube, which makes it really easy. So let's see. All right, switch it to times 10. Go down. Yep, go up one. Perfect. That's what we want. Hit next. And we're done. Z axis is calibrated. Press the OK button. Okay, so now to verify, we're going to go to the metal selection screen. And it doesn't really matter what thickness you have it on. Right now, we've got it on raw steel and 12 gauge. But what matters is this button right here edit cut settings. This screen shows all of the settings for that material. 
but most of these settings are all going to be the same no matter what thickness you pick and there's a verify button so that you can verify visually that it's actually calibrated correctly so press that verify button right there and you'll see it go down and find the surface and back off to that two millimeters if it looks like it's much more than that then your z-axis is not calibrated properly 